Good evening, everyone. It's so lovely to be here on Spiritual Psychics TV. My name is Karen Wood, and I am your medium this evening, and I'm going to give you a demonstration of mediumship. Now, I'm at the moment in a wonderful place in Wales at a spiritual centre called Hafen Ycoit. So I'm sitting in a beautiful room surrounded by lots of spiritual artefacts in a lovely, energetic place. And I'm sending out my love to the spirit world um, so that um, they will come through and give information to you. So I'm not quite sure how many people we've got on at the moment, but please let me know that you're here so that you can talk to me and so that I can say hello to you. And I know Richard would like to hear from you as well. And he's going to be the person in my ear talking to me as well as the spirit world. So I know that we're going to have a fantastic night and I'm looking forward to bringing through all your loved ones from the spirit world. So come on and join us because... Um, you can find me at the moment on Facebook. Um, I have a page which is Karen Wood Spiritualist Medium, or you can find me just on my profile page, Karen Wood. And um, I haven't got a website at the moment, but watch this space um, because I'm having one done as well. Um, I'm also, I've also got an Instagram page. You can find me on Instagram. So um, I'd love to, uh, for you to come and uh, contact me. Um, which would be really, really lovely. You know, social media is so wonderful because that's how we stay connected. Now, before I start, I just want to um, talk about something that happened um, a few weeks ago. I listened to a wonderful song by Ed Sheeran called Visiting Hours. And it made me think about how we connect to the spirit world. And I think a medium is like the connection that allows those visiting hours to happen so that we can bring through those loved ones that have passed in the physical realm, but they're still here. They still come through on that energetic level, bringing love and support and guidance through to you, uh, to you here today. So please come and let me know that you're here so that I can say hello to you. And I'm looking forward to, um, connecting, to connecting to your loved ones. So if there's anybody out there, um, please connect. And I look forward to you connecting with me on my on Facebook and Instagram as well. And um, I do have um, my own YouTube page too. So I'm in the process of getting things up and running because I'm a little bit of a, um, I suppose, a bit antiquated when it comes to all this technology. But I'm trying to um, move myself in. Oh, hello. Hello, Kimbo. Nice to uh, nice to see you. So let's see if I can um, link with. Um, OK, OK. So hello, um, Alison. Alison Barton. Lovely to see you. Claire Corbett. Good evening to you. I love your picture. Oh, look at that lovely little dog. Um, Stacey Ann Bender. Oh, what a lovely picture. Oh, that's so LJA. That's hello. Good evening. Yes, I'm very well. And I hope that you're well, too. That's brilliant. It's so nice to see you all coming on. Diamond Deb. And another picture of a lovely dog as well with Diamond Deg Deb. I've got a lovely dog. His name's Oscar. And um, he's across. Hello, Kaz Smith. Nice to see you. Lovely to see you. Oh, everybody's waking up and coming on. Good evening, Jojo. Oh, that looks a lovely holiday snap. And Roz. Oh, Roz Cherry. Hello. Hello, Roz. Not seen you for a while. Nice to see you again. Yeah, it, it's lovely when you can connect with people. Sarah Burston. Good evening. Nice to see you. When people come on that you haven't seen. Corrie Dutton. Hello, Corrie. Um, I think I I was um, we connected a few days ago uh, on another live that I did. Elaine Walker, good evening to you as well. Oh, that's lovely. Donna Nolan, hello. Hello, Donna. Nice to see you. Heidi Spicer. Heidi, hi, campers. Oh, <laughs> I, like, I love your picture. That's brilliant. Heidi, hi. Yes, I remember that series. Christine Norberton, Norberto, evening all. Evening to you. Nice to see you. Donna. Hello, Donna. Lovely to see you. Hello, Samantha Timpson. Nice to see you too. Oh, they're all coming on now. Joy, Joy Howe. Hello. West Ham United. Zoe Brown. 
Hello, Zoe. I wonder if it's my friend, Zoe Brown. Wendy, Wendy Clearton. Hello, Wendy. Nice to see you too. Hello, Lisa. Lisa Wilkinson. Millie B. Looking lovely. Nice to meet you too, Millie. Oh. Oh. oh, that is nice. Hello, Cheryl. Hello, Bev. Nice to see you all. Lisa Davis. Ah, oh. no. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to connecting with everybody. Margaret Thompson. Hello from Glasgow. And another lovely little doggy. Oh, 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 I like Scotland. Oh, hello, Nic Nicola, Nicola Moran. Hello. You're a newbie watching. Well, love, welcome, a very warm welcome to, to our newbies. Hello, Sherry Daniels. Oh, thank you. We like the love in the room. That's really important. Jessica Hodges. Hello. Oh, lovely picture there. Yes. I know. I know. Oh, it is lovely. And you know what? Love is really important. Evening, Sandra. Supporting England there, Linda Rogers, first time here. Well, welcome, Linda, and I hope it won't be your last because this is a lovely place to be to connect with our loved ones from the spirit world. Kathy Graves, hi from sunny Southern California. Oh, wow. Well, all it's done here is rain in Wales, <laughs> but it's a very nice place. Hello, Daniel. He's also from the US. Isn't it wonderful, Richard, all these people connecting together from all over the world? Krish P Pile from South Africa. Oh, wow. This is wonderful. Absolutely. Jennifer Rogers, Tulsa, Oklahoma. I love this. This is absolutely amazing. Phoenix, Silver Shadow. How does this work? Well, I will connect to your loved ones from the spirit world. You listen. Um, and I'm going to try, I'm going to try something different tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to do a little bit of an experiment. So you've all got to bear with me. When I work in churches, I normally bring through the communicator and I feel where I need to go. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try something different. I'm going to choose a name from the list of people here and I'm going to bring someone through for you. So you're going to have to bear with me because this is a new experiment, but us mediums, we like to experiment and push the boundaries of our mediumship. So I'm going to go very direct tonight. And Richard's going to choose a, 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 a give me, show me the, the names. Hello, Anna Reid. Oh, you're new to watching. Well, that's lovely. That's lovely. We've got a, new, a lot of new people on here tonight, Richards, which is brilliant. So Richard will show me the list. Um, Richard will show me the list. And um, I'm going to choose a name and I will see if I can get someone, um, a loved one for you. So um, this is really, um, this is going to be new for me. I love your poppy, Anna. That is a really beautiful flower that you've got there. And of course, it's Remembrance Day tomorrow, which um, is a very important day where we remember all those people that lost their lives in the wars and also the animals too. We mustn't forget the animals as well. And um, I haven't got my poppy on tonight. It's on my, it's on my, other, on my other jacket. Um, I should have put it on. But I love your poppy, Anna. It looks fantastic. So, um, okay. Okay, if you can give me some names, Richard, we'll, we'll get cracking. Oh, Millie's excited. Oh, that's lovely. So I'm just going to feel into the energy and I'm just going to see. Um, good evening to Gail. I'm just going to see where I go. Okay. 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 I actually felt drawn to Lynn. She was just on um, a little while back. Yes, Lynn Taylor. So I want, I'm going to talk to Lynn Taylor. Now, Lynn, I love your picture and your, your smile. Now, Lynn, would you understand mum in the spirit world? 
because I do feel that you look a little bit like your mum and I also feel that there's a lovely picture of you and your mum together and I feel that your mum was very close to you so and I I feel that there's there's a lot of family um a lot of um a, a strong family connection um with your mum Lynn um if you can let me know if you can understand what I'm saying and let's see if this way of working um is, is my new this new experiment that I'm doing tonight let's see if it works so Lynn if you all right okay okay I I forget about the delay I'm so used to working on zoom and I'm so used to sort of doing it face to face now I do feel with your mum Lynn that she's drawing attention to my chest so I feel that there was some chest problems here um, and I've, I've, I sort of feel a shortness of breath and I feel some pain in my chest. So I'm not quite sure if she had some heart problems as well. So if this makes sense to you, Lynn, if you can, if you can let me know. Ah, right. All oh, right. OK. Oh, lovely. Lovely. OK. So can you also understand the pain in her heart? And I've, your mum, she's making me laugh because she said, I thought that I was suffering with a lot of indigestion, but it turned out to be a little bit more serious than that. Now, I don't know if she's um, laughing about that, but I do feel that, that your mum tried to, um, how can I say, Oh, it's nothing. Um, it, I'll get over it. I feel that she didn't focus very much on her own health. Um, if that may, if that makes sense to you, Lynn, she sort of like just brushed it aside. She was she so focused on her family, um, so focused on her family. Um, now I just want to make sure, Lynn, your mum is in the spirit world. Um, do you understand that? See if that makes sense to you. All oh, right, that's good. That's good. Now she's she's really. I feel like your mum had a great sense of humour, and I do feel that she loved a laugh with the girls. So I'm not quite sure if she's referring to her mates or whether she was referring to you and perhaps a sister or a sister-in-law, because I just feel that she loved a giggle. And um, she would always see the funny side of a situation as well. This is what she's making me aware of. Now, she's taking me now um, out shopping. So I feel she was a bit of a shopper. Um, now, I've been in a shop today um, and she's taking me to this shop. It's a shop like Home Bargains where... Um, it's got all the Christmas stuff in it and I feel that the Christmas stuff was like um, she was like like a magpie to it she'd be drawn to all the the and she'd always come back with something new uh, a present or something Christmassy if that makes sense to you I love your picture Lynn you look so um, you look so happy and so relaxed in that picture now, mum's always making me aware here that there's some things going on around you at the moment um, and she wants to send a lot of love to you. And she's she's talking about she's talking about some stress. Ah, the granddaughters. That's fine. She's talking about a little bit of stress around you at the moment. And also, I feel there's been some tears. I feel that it must be coming up to Christmas or this time of year where you're missing her. And I feel, I want to, I know we've just gone into, um, we're in the middle of November now, but would you understand, ah, would you understand an anniversary or a birthday coming up either next week or the week, I want to say next week actually, because I'm getting um, around about the 15th, 16th, around that time where there's an anniversary. Um, and I feel that mum was a bit of a stickler for 
anniversaries and birthdays. I feel she'd go into the shop and she'd come out with like all the birthday cards for that month or for the next few months because I feel that sending out the birthday cards was really important to mum, if that, if that makes sense to you. Um, she, she's got such a gentle energy about her, Lynn. Um, and I feel she'd always put other people first. It was very important to her that family first. She just, she's just, she's just saying that. And and she, and if she was here now, she would be sitting with you with a cup of tea, and she would be holding your hands and saying to you, "Don't worry, love. It's going to be okay." And she really wants to say that to you now. Whatever's going on, don't worry, love. It's going to be all right. We'll get through it. So I feel that um, this is what this is what she wants to say to you now. Um, what else is she making me aware of? Um, I feel I'm in. She wants to show me her house now. So I feel I'm in like an extension or a conservatory. Um, and I feel that she would love to sit and look out at the garden. I feel that she loved her garden. Um, and I feel that there's, um, okay, what are you showing me? Um, it's like there's roses, roses all of all around. So I feel that roses, all right, lovely. Um, there was roses everywhere in this garden. I feel there was um, like climbing roses around uh, an arbor or a pagoda or something. This is what she's showing me. And would you also understand the name Rose as well? Um, because she's making me aware of the name Rose, but also the flower. Um, and I also feel that she loved, she's showing me like um, smelly things like pot potpourri and things like that she's making me aware of. Um, and I just feel that she loved fragrances. And there's a particular fragrance that she used to wear and I feel that, you know, when you think of her, um, you remember this fragrance. And I feel that you you sometimes smell this fragrance around as well. But your mum is, is here, Lynn, and she wants to give you a lot of love. Um, and she's, um, all right, OK, that's fine. That's fine. As long as the uh, um, she was just she was just showing me these roses. Um, but she just wants to link with you to say she's gone but not forgotten because I feel there must have been a conversation where you were talking to somebody um, and her name cut. All oh, right, okay, okay. Um, she she was okay. What are you? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. She's making me aware that you were sitting around and you were talking um, about her. And I just feel that someone, you just said she used to make lavender hearts, but somebody here is doing some crafts or thinking about either making a Christmas wreath or doing something crafty, making things for Christmas. And she thinks that's fantastic because I do feel that this would have been right up her street. She loved making things, but I do, but I just feel that I've got some, um, would you understand where... It's either her or you used to prick their fingers with a needle trying to do something because I just felt some like little pricks in my finger. So um, that's what I feel just 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 on my finger. But she just wants to come with a great deal of love for you, Lynn. And she wants you to keep your chin up. And um, she just says we've got so many memories um, of the things that we did and the laughs that we had. And she's taking me now to some water and it's either a, a, a lake or a river to where she lived. And I feel that she would, she used to love to, to be by the water side or by the, by this river or lake. I just feel there's, there's, um, there's this river. And she said, if you need some quiet time, um, she wants you to have some time for yourself. She said it's important that um, you have some time for yourself. 
So take her love, Lynn, and thank you. Uh, all right, your daughter's very crafty. That's brilliant. So um, she's really happy about that because I feel that if she was here, she would would be working with your daughter. In fact, hold on. She's actually saying that she used to sit with your daughter and do the crafty things when she was here. So take her love and know that she's around you. OK, so thank you for working with me. All right. So let's see who else we've got, Richard. Ah! <laughs> I like it. I like it. I'm very good at bossing men about. <laughs> I think all women are really, aren't we, girls? So um, actually, let's let's see who you boss about at home. <laughs> you can tell me who you boss about at home if you want to. I don't mind. Um, let's make it. Um, let's make it like this is my first time doing a show on my own. Uh, normally, last time I did it, I had the lovely Bill Hughes with me, uh, who was holding my hand through the proceedings. But this time. I'm doing it on my own. And Richard said, make it your own, Karen. So this is what I'm doing. So come on, ladies, talk to Karen. OK. Oh, we've got Diamond Deb. Yes, lovely. Uh, uh, Katie Tucker. Oh, I love that picture of that lion, Katie. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Roz. Thank you very much. Thank you, um, Mary Bevel. Actually, um, can I just come to Roz, please? Um, now, I know that I know Roz. I haven't connected with her um, for a while. Um, and um, I'm just going to um, link with you, Roz, if I may, um, because I do have a lady that draws close to me from the world of spirit. And this lady, um, I feel, is your grandmother. And she is very, very proud of you. Um, and I also say, want to say, Roz, um, would you understand where... There's been a, I feel as I'm linking with you, with your name, I feel that there's been a slight change around you with regard to what you're doing within your spiritual work and also your work, your, your, your job. Um, and I feel a sense of confidence around you. Um, and this lady, this grandmother, I feel is coming in. And I feel that she had quite a lot to do with you when you were younger, when you were little, Roz. So if you could just let me know if that makes sense to you. Um, oh, lovely. OK. And I just feel like you're standing in your own power, Roz. Now, I know. Um, let me, OK, I know that I know if I explain to everybody that I know Roz from back last year when she took a couple of my workshops because I do workshops and I teach as well. And Roz came along to a couple of my workshops and I just feel, Roz, that there's a difference around you. I feel that you've gone through a change um, in yourself and it's like this is me and this is how this is how I am. And I feel that your nan, I feel that she had a lot to do with you growing up. And I feel that your nan was a very strong lady. And I feel that she spoke her mind. And I also feel that you didn't mess with her. She was one of those ladies that where she would give you a look if she wasn't happy. And I also feel that... Um, she I feel that she had some physical problems. I feel um, good. I'm pleased to I'm pleased to hear that. It's good to set boundaries. But would you understand where your nan would have had some problems with her legs? And also, I've got some pain in my hands. I feel that she would have had some pins and needles or a little bit of arthritis going on. But I feel that her mind was quite sharp and I feel that she was a quite a clever lady and also I want to say that she was quite intuitive because I feel this is where you get it from I feel that she would suss people out you know she'd look at them and she'd know what they were made of if that makes sense to you um, she reminds me a little bit right that's it oh right okay that's why I'm getting sort of like the pins and needles then because I just feel that you know she's she struggled um, towards the towards the end of her life um, she she 
I feel that she she would say sort of like she'd be she could be quite cutting, you know, um, and she didn't care who it was. And it was like one sentence, one sentence, and you knew where you stood with her. She was, you know, she would just put you in your place. And as the, the word with the words that come to mind is she wouldn't take any prisoners. Um, she was very, very strong. I also feel that she probably would have worn glasses or would have had some problems with her eyes. Um, and I also feel that her home was very important to her. Oh, right. Now, that's why she was she was quite intuitive then. Now, I have to say that the tea leaves are becoming very popular again. So um, and they're quite a lovely tool to use if you work on a psychic vibration. They really they really are. Um, but I do feel that she's making me aware that she used those. But I also feel that she didn't always have to use them because she would just look at someone and know what was going on in their lives. I also feel that she was very good at sorting out, telling somebody when they were when they were pregnant, um, because years ago they didn't have like we have now the pregnancy tests. So I feel that she would look at a person and know if they were pregnant or she's showing me um, like putting a ring on a bit of string to find out if it was a boy or if it was a girl. So they put it over the lady's tummy and it would go round one way for a boy, another for a girl. So I feel that, that this is what this is what she's talking about. Um, OK, let's just see. Um, would you also understand, Ros, whereby there's something coming up? Uh, you're having a meeting with somebody or you've had a meeting with somebody to do with work whereby you spoke your mind and you spoke your truth because your nan's just coming through and she's actually saying, that's my girl. So I feel that she was very, um, oh, you did them a few weeks ago. Fabulous. Um, but your nan's saying, that's my girl because you stood your ground. I feel that you're not letting people take advantage of you now. You've sort of... Um, I don't know, there's a definitely a different feel, right? Okay, lovely. There's definitely a different feel about what I'm um what I what I'm what I'm hearing about what I'm feeling about you. Now, as um would you also understand, Ros, where you have a special piece of jewellery? In fact, I've got two pieces of jewellery that Nan is showing me. One is a ring and one is a necklace, and also there's a brooch as well. And I feel that you would remember the brooch that she would wear. Now, I feel it's actually like a cameo brooch, if you know what the cameo brooch is. It's where you see it's it's in a pale, um, it's a, a face of a lady, and it's in normally a blue or a, or a, a beige. And they, they were very popular um, going back. And I feel there's a cameo brooch somewhere um, going back in your family and I can see somebody wearing it sort of just about here they, they normally used to wear it uh, uh, with a collar and okay that's lovely and I feel that would you also understand that this is it's very delicate because I feel that the catch broke on it and it had to be fixed and someone nearly lost this brooch because I've, I've I can see the little catch on it just sort of slightly hanging off and I don't think I don't think it's worn now because it's quite old, I feel. Um, now, your nan is also taking me to April for an anniversary. And I want around the end of April, around the 24th, 25th of, of April. And I feel that this is a wedding anniversary, I want to say. Um, now, OK, would you also understand, Ros, where your nan used to make a lovely fruit cake? Um, and I also feel that she made someone's wedding cake as well. Um, and I know we're coming into Christmas. I keep saying the big C word. Um, and but I feel that her cakes. All oh right. OK. Um, I feel this ca this cake has got a lot of alcohol in it. And also it's got lots of cherries in it because I can really I can really taste the cherries and I can really taste that that. Um, 
sharpness of the alcohol. I think it's brandy that she used to put into it. Um, and I also... And I also feel that she did quite like a little glass of something from time to time. I'm not sure if it's a tot of brandy or a glass of sherry, but I know it's of that colour. I know it's of that amber colour. Um, all right, now, um, she, she's, she comes with a great deal of love for you, Roz, and she's, she wants you to continue staying in your power and being the person that you were meant to be. Okay, all right. Not sure about the cake. I've made the Christmas cake the other week. Brandy, yes. Okay, well, as long as you can take about the cake, that's that's fine. Um, but would you, but she just wants you to stay in your power. She's very, very proud of you. And if you could pass her love onto those, those people in the family that she's still connected to and um, carry on the good work, she's saying. So thank you very much for working with me, Ros. Thank you. Okay. Oh, this is quite, this is working, isn't it? It's quite interesting, this. Yeah, I don't mind it. It's a little bit scary, but I'm, I'm, I'm up for any challenge that, uh, that um, put in front of me. So I don't mind at all. So this is good. So let's have some more names and then let's see. <laughs> Alison has got another Christmas cake to make tomorrow. Oh, I do love a bit of Christmas cake. <laughs> Lovely. I think I might pop in for a slice as well. I love Christmas cake. It's one of my favourite cakes. Okay. Let's just see who else. Richard, have we got any gentlemen on or are they only ladies? Because... So I feel I want to go to a gentleman here. Right, okay. We haven't got a Peter by any chance, have we? Right, okay. Kimbo. All oh, right, okay. 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 Oh, bless him. He looks a happy chap, doesn't he? Oh, bless him. Okay, all right. Well, let me just put that to one side. Can I link with Kimbo? Because I do love his face. I think he looks absolutely wonderful. Um, he's, he looks absolutely fun to be around. Um, and Kimbo, can I just ask, would you understand your father in the spirit world? Um, and I feel father. Um, I... I feel, <laughs> I think you're very different to your father. I feel this father is very, is quite quiet. And I feel that he's a very strong man, but I feel um, he didn't always show um, his emotions. And I actually feel that you do show your emotions. And I sometimes also feel here that, that sometimes people in the family don't quite know uh, what to what to how to take you sometimes um all right you understand that i feel that you stand out from the crowd within your family i feel a lot of your family are a little bit more reserved that's the word i'm looking for i feel your father was reserved but i also feel that when you were a youngster you used to be you know you used to be sort of a little bit like the life and soul of the party or a little bit cheeky and i feel that your dad used to Try not to laugh if you were doing anything that you shouldn't, that was quite funny. But I just feel that his lip would go into that smile where he couldn't always stop himself. Oh, right, okay, no emotions from him, that's fine. But I just feel that he's very reserved, but he did use to sometimes, when you were doing something, he, he, didn't, he, used, he said that he couldn't always express himself. But he, he was just him, but he... He sort of em embraced you for being you. And he understands you a little bit better than perhaps he did when he was here. Right. <laughs> I thought you were a cheeky chappy. You've just got that way about you. And, but what I do, what, um, would you also understand, Kimbo, that um, sometimes 
um, your dad's making me aware that sometimes your sort of his words, not mine, your over exuberance when you were little sometimes sort of hid a little bit of self doubt when you were when you were a youngster, if that makes sense to you. And okay, would you also understand with your father that he, he loved to be outside in the garden? Because I feel I want to, I've got a spade going on now. I'm sort of want to do some digging. So I feel that he used to dig and plant things, not just flowers and, and, and plants, but I feel that he planted vegetables, but also he's talking about trees. So I don't know if, they, if you had fruit trees, something about fruit trees or trees connected with your father, if that makes sense to you. So um, if, if you can understand that, let, um, let me know. I feel that your father was um, in his own world. Um, OK, uh, you, you got very excited as a kid. I reckon you probably get quite excited now as well. I've just got that feeling about you. But I just feel that your dad was sort of in his own world and he didn't he couldn't sort of talk to people um, in a very natural way. Right. And, and, and the thing that he loved, where he put his love and where he put his enthusiasm was into his garden. And he's just and I feel that this was. It was a talking point. So if people came out into the garden, he would show them what he was what he was growing. And I feel that he was also very knowledgeable about what he was growing. And not that I can say the Latin names, but I do feel that he knew um, all the posh names for all the plants that he was growing. And he knew exactly when to plant, what to plant. Right. Fruit bushes. I knew there was something about fruit. OK, OK. Um, and I just feel it was definitely his thing. And he loved um, he, he would go out into the garden and he said it took me into a different place. Now, he's also giving me. Um, all right. We would argue black was white. OK. Would you understand um, you as a child um, digging and making mud pies? or metting about, I don't know if it's in the mud or if it's in the sand, but I know you've got a bucket and you're putting, making, you know, you're out in the garden or you're out in the, in the the on a beach somewhere making either sandcastles or mud pies. I think it might be actually mud pies. Um, and I don't know if you dug something up that you shouldn't have done, but I don't think your dad was very impressed with you on that particular day, if that makes sense to you. Something you did in the garden where dad wasn't very impressed with you. Um, OK, I feel I feel he wants to sort of say he's going a little bit. She uh, oh, yes. Garden names. OK, um, he's going a little bit sheepish now. He's putting his head down because I feel that he's sorry um, for a situation that happened. Um, and I, I feel that perhaps you um, were a little bit estranged for a while or there was a, there was something that you um, you argued about. And um, I feel he wants to sort of say sorry, because I feel that your dad could be quite stubborn and um, OK, you can't remember about that. OK, that's fine. But can you remember about uh, where you um, where he could be quite stubborn and he would dig his heels in? on something. If it's not him, it could be you. Um, but it's interesting because when he was connecting and talking and showing me the garden, he was all animated. So I could tell that he really loved the garden. But now we're talking about emotions. He's gone a little bit quiet. And that tells me he didn't want to talk about emotions. He couldn't connect to his emotions. But I do feel that he tried to be the best dad that he could. OK, you recognise that. He said, I tried to do the best I could. And I feel that he tried to do things on a more practical level, like putting food on the table, trying to be there for you. And I'm not sure if it's him or you, but I actually I feel it's him. I feel that he liked to read as well because he's, he's connecting me to books. Um, and would you also understand, Kimbo, that your your 
thinking about or you're moving into reading a little bit more spiritual books i don't know if you've bought a spiritual book it could be a story about a medium's journey or um right okay okay but would you understand pardon exactly he's coming through to give you that apology he wants to acknowledge that he was wrong um, and he wants to sort of try to reconnect with you now from the world of spirit. And I don't know if you're in wanting to read something on a more spiritual vibration, a spiritual book, or you've been thinking or you have read one. But I think it's sort of changed the way that you think about things. And I feel that your dad, since he's been in the spirit world, he's had time to think and he's now, ah, oh, brilliant, he's now thinking about things. And I think the books and the knowledge and the wisdom that you're going to get, um, I just feel, Kimbo, that something's opened up within you, like a bit like an awakening. And I feel that once you start to read the books, you're going to want to know more questions, you're going to um, feel something within you. And it's an interesting journey because I think it's going to be a journey about you, about self. And that is also what happens when we start a spiritual journey. We connect because we want to hear from our loved ones, but also when there's a little bit of healing to be done, we also learn a lot about ourselves as well. So I, your dad just wants to come through and he just wants to connect with you and talk, talk to you and apologize um, and I feel that he's changing the way he thinks now he's gone into the spirit spirit world but he just did the best that he could when he was here and he just wants you to take his love and take his respect because he has a lot of respect for you so I hope that that makes sense to you Kimbo and thank you very much for working with me thank you Thank you. Oh, he looks a lovely man. <laughs> OK. Oh, that's nice. Well, I'm pleased that I've I just felt I wanted to um, connect to a gentleman because sometimes when gentlemen come to uh, services or churches or demonstrations, I don't know that they sometimes hide as if they've come with their other half or and they hide because they don't want a message. But it's important that everybody gets a message from their loved ones in spirit. So I just wanted to link with a gentleman. So I hope that's helped. OK, so let's see who else we've got. Oh, lovely. Lovely. OK. OK, so we're going to have some adverts now, ladies and gentlemen. So enjoy what's coming up soon on Spiritual Psychics TV. You're watching a demonstration of mediumship. Broadcasting live to Facebook and YouTube. The show will continue after these short announcements. After the show tonight and around 9.30 p.m., we have our regular online Zoom chat for anyone who wishes to join us. The login details are placed in the SPTV fan page. Tomorrow morning we have our Divine Service with Wimbledon Spiritualist Church that starts from 11 a.m. Sunday evening from 8 p.m. we have our VIP Fledgling Night with Moira Hawkins, Details about becoming a VIP can be found on our website. For more information on our broadcasts, schedule, and information about the presenters, please visit our website. That's it for all the announcements. I'll pass you back to our guest. Enjoy the rest of the show. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're back again. And did you see the little bloop that, that happened at the beginning? So, but never mind, these technical hitches do happen. So we're, we're sorry for that. But it's lovely to be back with you. And I hope you saw all the adverts and you know what's coming up in the coming days. So um, let's see um, who I feel drawn to. Now, what I think I'd like to do tonight is I'd like to do one more message and then let's open it up to some questions because I'm sure there may be some questions that you want to ask me. So Richard, if it's okay, we'll do one more message and then maybe we can have some questions if, if that's okay. Okay, so um, let's, let's see these names.
Okay. Was there a sherry there, Richard? Yeah. No, it was a, it was an S. Sorry, Sherry Daniels, that's it. Yeah, okay. Hello, Sherry, I'd like to come to you, if I may, because as your name flashed up on the screen, I was aware of a lady that draws close to me, and I feel I'm, I, I feel this lady was, was close to you, but as a, on, a, on a friendship level, and I feel that she passed, um, and I don't feel that she was very old when she passed. I feel that um, she passed with a cancer condition. Um, so if that's if that's right, if you can let me know, that'd be fantastic. Um, because I feel that you two shared like a sister bond. So it's either a friend or a sister, but somebody that you were close to that um, you um, that you used to share things with. You know, when you have that that friend that you can talk to and share things with, because I feel that this lady wants to come in and. Um, she just wants to be there for you at the moment. I just felt a pull as if you needed somebody, as if you've been asking for, and I know you've, you've said, can I please have a message? And they've answered, yes, you can have a message because I feel that you, there's a little bit of anxiety or a little bit of worry around you. And this lady just wants to come in and she just wants to connect with you and to let you know that you're he that she's here. So if you, this makes sense to you, the experiment that we're doing tonight for me is still working. But if it's not, then it means that I might have to put the message out. But I just felt as if I was drawn to you. So, ah, ah, right. Okay, I got the wrong Sherry then. <laughs> but I just felt it was Sherry. Okay, okay. So let's, I'm sorry about that, um, Sherry Daniels. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. So it was, uh, you were right, Richard, and I was wrong because you put up um, Sherry Wilman first of all. So, but I just knew it was Sherry. So um, this lady, she's so close to you, Sherry. And she said that we shared things together that we didn't even share with our family. Um, and I've just got, I can just feel the two of you sitting and having a glass of wine or a cup of tea and, you know, talking about life and really, and I actually, okay, she's making me aware that you were one of the first people that you, that, that she told that she was ill and you both sort of stood, sat there and she cried, you cried. And but you but there was a lot of determination with this lady. Um, it's like, I will beat this. I am going to give it my best shot. But inside, it was like she was she was oh, she was wobbling. But I feel that she had to be strong for her family. Would you understand boys, children connected with her? Because She's talking about her boys. So I feel that this is um connected with 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 children around her um and now i know we had a christmas cake earlier on but i do feel that your friend loved and i'm I, it looks to me like cheesecake you know and i feel that when you went out you might have had coffee and a bit of cheesecake um lemon cheesecake and also or it looks a bit like i'm not sure if it's banoffee pie or, or lemon cheesecake, but this is what this is what she's making me aware of here. Um, and she's laughing because she said she's laughing because she said I was I don't know if it's she's talking about her going on a diet, but um, I'll, I'll, I'll go on a diet tomorrow. But this is what she's making me aware of. She sounds a little bit like me. I always say that as I eat a bit of cake. I'll go on a diet tomorrow. So this is what she's making me uh, aware of. And I do feel she liked a glass of wine as well because she's raising a glass to you. Um, and I feel that at this time of year, you would have maybe gone out for a bit of a Christmas shopping. All right. OK. Ah, lovely, lovely. And I feel that you'd be going out for a whole day Christmas shopping. And of course, there would be lunch and cheesecake. Um, so, and I, and I feel that you, 
you miss that because there was always one day of the year where you would she sang shop till you drop that was your motto shop till you drop and i feel it was a big shopping mall like um we have a blue water here and like the trafford center in manchester so i feel there would be a big shopping mall where you would have gone and you would have got there in the morning and shop till you drop and then maybe gone for um, a nice drink afterwards. So this is what she's making me aware of. Um, she's saying that the friendship that you had was so important to her and um, you got her through some tough times as well, some really tough times. And she wants to be there for you from the world of spirit to hold your hand because she knows that um, things have not been great. She's talking about things not being great, but she wants to be there to give you that love and to give you that support around you. So I hope this makes sense to you, Sherry. I love the picture of your bird, by the way, but would you also understand a black dog, um, a medium-sized black dog? Um, because I just feel this dog's popped in as well. And it's lovely when we get our pets to come in too, because they were part of our lives. Okay. Oh, you would cook tea for her at your home. Okay. Okay. Oh, yes. She just wants to come and be with you. But would you understand, Sherry, where she wants to link? I feel it's the youngest of her boys. Would you understand the youngest going through um, a, a little bit of a tough time at the moment? I feel that he's doubting himself. She's saying that he, he's, he's, a, he's the quiet one. If he's, that's what I feel. He's, he's struggling a little bit at the moment. He doesn't believe in himself when he's actually a, quite a bright cookie, if that makes sense to you. Um, she... She just wants to reach. She just wants to reach out to you, and she wants you to be there. Would you also understand when you were there for her when she had to go to the hospital? Because she's making me aware of you were with her when she had to go through either some treatment or seeing a consultant, if that makes sense. Because she's just, make, she's just making me aware of you holding her hand. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. All right, it's, bo it's both of them. Right. Because I feel that she was a very positive person and she would be saying to her boys that they're individuals and special boys and they've got to not follow the pack, if that makes sense. I don't know if they're struggling a little bit with who they are as sometimes um, youngsters do but I just feel that she would be giving them a little bit of a pep talk now if she was here because I do feel that she was very good at sort of giving pep talks now I've just got September in my in my head here so I feel that September is an important month. Now, I know September's just been, but I feel there must be some birthdays, a birthday in September, August and September. I feel that she wants to, she wants to talk about that um, as well, if that, if that makes sense to you. Um, she, you know, she, she just wants to come with a lot of love for you, but also to give support. All right. OK, that's that's lovely. That's lovely. Yes, that's lovely. Well, she just wants to thank you for being there for her, because I feel that you gave her. She said you brought me strength. You held my hand and kept me focused and also asked all the questions that got me to ask all the questions that I was scared to ask. You gave her a lot of strength and she wants to give you a lot of love. And say thank you for being the bestest friend ever. And I've got that song that they that plays "Thank You for Being My Friend." There's a song that they used to play. I think it was in a series, a TV series. So, yeah, for, that's it. Um, thank you for being. Ah, oh, right. Thank you for being my friend. And she loves you to bits. 
So please take her love. And please, if you can, I know it's difficult, pass her love on to her um, her boys, okay? And just let them know that she's there for them, okay? So take take her love, take her love. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so if you have any questions for me, um, I'm going to let the spirit world um, and say thank you for the spirit world for working with us tonight. But if you have any questions for me, if anybody wants to ask me anything, um, and I will answer um, from my own experience. I don't have the answers to everything. I can only answer from my own experience. So the answers I give are from Karen's own experience in life. Um, that's lovely. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you. Lovely to work with you. So if there's any questions out there, I'd only be too happy to uh, to answer because we've got a little we've got a couple of minutes. So if anybody wants to ask me a quickie question. Hi, Karen. My question is, I pray for today for something personal to me. Would love to know if it was heard. Millie B, when we pray from my experience and I've been doing some praying recently, let me tell you, it takes a little bit of time, but our our prayers are heard and um they, they let you know in various means how they are heard. And let me just give you an example. Um, some years ago, a friend of mine was going through a tough time and she sent out some thoughts for some help. Now, she, she sent out some thoughts for her to her mum and within about five minutes of her doing that, and it doesn't always happen that quick, but she received a phone call from her mum's friend. And that mum's friend helped her through a difficult time. So her mum was in the spirit world and couldn't be there. But the mum from the spirit world sent somebody to give her daughter a helping hand. So, yes, our prayers are heard from the world of spirit. And we can connect to that God force within us, that divine spark within us whenever we need to. So don't worry, your prayers are heard. In my experience. Any other questions? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Heidi, um, I'm, do you know what? I love Where's My Night in Tim Fall and we, Will He Be Called Andrew? I, I don't know, but all I can say to you, Heidi, is if you want a night in tinfoil or shining armour to come, you send out those positive thoughts. And let me just share something with you. About eight or nine years ago, my friend and I decided to put out to the universe what we wanted to demand. So I wrote about half a page, you know, that I wanted him to be kind, uh, nice, you know, um, caring, understanding me as a person. My friend wrote out two pages, very specific. Um, and within about six months to a year, I then met the man that I've been with for nearly eight years. So sometimes if we put those positive thoughts out um, and say that you'd like a nice man to come into your life, you never know what comes round the corner. So, um, but uh, I, I do, um, I'm not sure if they'd be called Andrew though, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. But whatever we, we need in life, I believe that, um, you know, we, we put those positive thoughts out and what goes round comes round. So there you go. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Right. Where's my notepad? <laughs> Don't get too picky now, Heidi. <laughs> you wouldn't believe what my friend. Um, was my aunt happy at the end of her life? Sharon, um, I can't aunt that, answer that personally, but um, most people, when some people are happy at the end of their life, it depends what your aunt was like as a person. But if your question is more, you know, are, are people OK when they know that they're coming to the end of their life? In my experience, I feel 
that a lot of people come to terms with that they are coming to the end of their life and some people don't know they're coming to the end of their life if there's a a quick passing a shock person then that a shock passing then they don't know but if they know that they are coming to the end of the life they've been ill a long time um i believe that the spirit world um bring people to let them know it's come they're coming to the end of their life and um they help them through any things that they're going through i believe that people are always there for when we for when people go over to the spirit world so um i'm sure your aunt is okay in the spirit world now so i hope that answers your question there's always somebody there. I know that when my mum passed the spirit world, my dad was waiting for her because I sensed my dad in in the room and also my mum told me that she'd seen she'd seen my dad before she passed. We are very fortunate with the knowledge that we have that there is no death. Because there's a lot of people out there that don't believe that um that my my mother-in-law used to say to me once you're dead you're dead and i used to smile because i used to say no that's not the case the physical body dies but that energy cannot die that energy that is you the essence of you your spirit cannot die and that lives on and that's the most important part so i hope that answers your question When they Lisa do loved ones age when they pass over or do they stay the age and look as they did when they pass well obviously they're not in physical physical form and when they go back to the spirit world they're in the, in their energetic form but when they come back through they come back with the characteristics the physical attributes so that when they come through to me I know um so if you're if you're if your loved ones were happy go lucky or if they were miserable then they would come through and give the attributes and how they looked when in their physical form but um it's it's a difficult thing to say they grow in a different way it's not the physic how we see it in the physical form um because we age physically because um cells and the body changes um as we as we grow so um i believe that they they stay in their in they go they take all their aches and pains away because they don't have that physical body so they stay the essence of them their true spirit that spark stays in a beauty the beautiful way if that makes sense but it's not the same as the physical form so i have one more question i think then richard and then shall we call it a night is that all right right Oh. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. Okay. Do loved ones come through with tears and crying? I always thought there was no sadness in heaven something that really worries me thank you so much when loved ones this again this is just what i feel when loved ones come through they feel that emotion you know love be the tie that binds they're connected to you they feel your love and they still have that love with you but i feel that when they come through it's they come through with joy that they can still communicate and yes they still worry about what's going on and there's that bond and that connection so that is still there but it's more or less still the, the still the same connection as what they would have um if they were here it's out of concern it's out of love so love be the tie that binds and you shouldn't worry about it because you know when that love comes through um 
yes, I think we feel sad when somebody goes. But I always feel that when somebody goes to the spirit world, there's always a bit of a party. It's like they're going back home. They're reconnecting with all the people that they haven't seen for a long time. But they still feel that love and that connection to you. And they try to feel that love and that and send that positivity to us down here. So they sometimes feel what we're going through. But they realize, their spirit realizes that they have to go to the spirit world. It's their time to go to the spirit world. But they still have that love and they still have that connection with us. And I don't feel that it's sadness. I just feel that it's emotion, that connection. That's what I feel. So I hope that answers your question. And we shouldn't worry about it because they are absolutely fine in the spirit world. They are absolutely fine. It's, every, it's, it's us here that sometimes struggle with things because they have the understanding when they go back to the spirit world. And just know that all is well with your loved ones in spirit. So I hope that answers your question, Jenny. And again, I would say to all of you, this is just my opinion from what I feel and my work within my mediumship. So thank you very much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this time has gone so quickly. But you know what? I have really, really enjoyed myself. And I'll be honest, I was a little bit nervous because I've not done this on my own before. But I hope that I'll come back and see you again if Richard and all of you will have me because I think it's been great. So thank you so much for being part of this time. And I know there's lots more coming up on Spiritual Psychics TV. So please keep looking and watching and listening. And I hope that I'll come back and work with you all again. And thank you all for being part of this lovely time together. And thank you, Richard, for, bring, for doing what you do, because you're doing a very important job. So thank you all. Oh, in Zoom? Okay, okay, that'd be lovely. I'll come on. Yeah, that'd be great. All right. I will be on. I've just been invited to Zoom at 9.30. So if you want to come on and have a chat with me, please do. And then I can see you all in person. So come on Zoom at 9.30 and let's get the, keep the party going. Let's keep this lovely connection going. So thank you so much. Thank you. Spiritual Psychics TV dot online. Spiritual Psychics TV isn't just an online broadcasting service. We also offer many features via our website. SPTV offers a unique directory that uses geolocation to find your nearest reader or venue just by using your postcode. The Academy section allows anyone to upload and create their own spiritual courses within minutes. For those who like to read, then our online magazine area will offer just that. The SPTV shop enables anyone to start their online shop be it to sell used or new items. You can also find our schedule and information about our shows. Spiritual Psychics TV, bringing spiritual people together.